Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a to the power of b minus b to the power of a, this is equal to 17. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b given that a is not equal to 0 and that b is not equal to 0. So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, a to the power of b subtract b to the power of a. This is equal to 17. We can express a to the power of b. This is the same thing as a to the power of b raised to the power of 1. This is the same thing as a to the power of b minus b to the power of a raised to the power of 1. This is the same thing as b to the power of a. This is equal to 17. The next step is that we can express 1 as 2 over 2. If you say 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1, so let's substitute 1 with 2 over 2 so that we have a to the power of b raised to the power of 2 over 2 subtract b to the power of a raised to the power of 2 over 2 here. This is equal to 17. The next step is that a to the power of b raised to the power of 2 over 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, and this can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. So this implies that we have a to the power of b over 2 raised to the power of 2, then subtract b raised to the power of a over 2 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 17. Now, the next step from here, we have to note that here, that A and B, these are members of positive integers. Now, from here, we can let A to the power of B over 2 be equal to X. And that B to the power of a over 2 b equal to y. And given that x comma y, these are also members of positive integers. So this implies that by substituting x and y into the equation, we have x squared minus y squared. This is equal to 17. x squared minus y squared this is the difference of two perfect squares that can be expressed as x plus y, x minus y, this is equal to 17. And we have that x plus y, this is greater than x minus y. And therefore, the next step is to determine the prime factors of 17. So here we have 17 multiplied by 1, and we have 1 times 17. So in this case, we have that x plus y is greater than x minus y. So this implies that 17 is greater than 1, and this satisfies the condition. The second one is 1 times 17. 1 is less than 17, so this does not satisfy the condition. So we have that x plus y, x minus y, this is equal to 17 multiplied by 1. So here we have x plus y, this is equal to 17, and we have that x minus y, this is equal to 1. So we have two systems of linear equations here. So let's add these two systems of linear equations. We have x plus x, this is 2x. We have y plus minus y, this simplifies, so this is 0. Then 17 plus 1, this is equal to 18. So let's divide both signs by 2. And this implies that here we have that x is equal to 18 divided by 2, this is equal to 9. So the value of x is equal to 9. We can solve for the value of y. Remember x plus y, this is equal to 
17. So here we can substitute x, which is 9. So 9 plus y, this is equal to 17. So that y is equal to 17 minus 9. And this implies that y is equal to 8. So we have the values of x and we have the values of y. So if you recall, we are saying that let x be equal to a to the power of b over 2. And we let y be equal to b to the power of a over 2. So let's substitute x and y. So that now we have a raised to the power of b over 2. This is equal to x, which is equal to 9. So we need to eliminate these two here. And to do this, we have to square on both sides. And this implies that this 2 and 2 here simplifies. So that we have a to the power of b. This is equal to 9 squared, which is equal to 81. We can express 81 basically as 3 to the power of 4. So we have a to the power of b. This is equal to 3 to the power of 4. And this implies that here, that a is equal to 3 and that b is equal to 4. So from x equal to 8, we have that the value of a is equal to 3 and the value of b is equal to 4. So let's check when y is equal to 8, if we have the same values of a and b. Now we have y is equal to 8, so that now 8 is equal to b to the power of a over 2. So we need to eliminate these two again here. To do that, we have to square on both sides. So that now 2 and 2 here is simplified. So that now we have b to the power of a, this is equal to 8 squared, which is equal to 64. And here we can express this 64 basically as 4 to the power of 3. So we have that b to the power of a, this is equal to 4 to the power of 3. And this implies that a is equal to 3 and that b is equal to Four. So this confirms that a is equal to 3 and that b is equal to 4. And this implies that the next step is to verify that a and b satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that a to the power of b minus b to the power of a, this is supposed to give us a value of 17. So we have a is equal to 3, so we have 3 to the power of b which is 4, subtract b which is 4 to the power of a which is 3, this is supposed to give us a value of 17. 3 to the power of 4, this is 81, minus 4 to the power of 3, this is 64, this is supposed to give us a value of 17. 81 minus 64, this is 17, which is equal to 17. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of A and B, which is 3 and 4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Kindly subscribe. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.